welcome to the course on computer design of electrical machines uh, well we will have a lecture 15 today on design of three phase induction motor part 4 this we start from introduction then we will like to go to complete design example 2 then numerical exercise and problems then that we will have in typically some subjective problems and some solved example followed by references so coming to typically an analytical example of complete induction motor design uh, we start with I mean like a design 11 kilowatt 3 phase 440 volt 50 or 1000 rpm synchronous speed is called induction motor having a full load efficiency of 0.86 and power factor of 0.86 the temperature is not to exceed 50 degrees centigrade assume suitable and justified value for various design data now discuss about solution for the estimation of main dimensions I mean we have to go to the calculation of the output equation. So, first we have to calculate the synchronous speed which is required in this so, that is NS 120F by P. So, that is NS upon 60. So, it comes in RPS it comes 16.67 RPS and number of poles uh, from here we can find out 2F upon NS that comes around 6. So, considering the B average of 0 0.45 uh, Weber per meter square and the electrical loading AC 22,000 ampere per meter and winding factor of 0 0.955 which is well valid for saying double layer winding with the winding distribution of 60 degree phase spread and uh, typically the pitch factor of around 1. Now coming to KVA input Q that is equal to P0 on efficiency into power factor to so putting value of 11 divided by 0.86 into 0.6 this comes to 14.9 KVA. Now, for the output equation, we have output coefficient C0 equal to 1.11 pi square KW BAB into AC. So, it comes after putting value 104 and D square product from this output equation D square L is Q0, Q upon C0 and L NS and putting this value it comes 8.6 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube. So, for a good power factor, of course, we have to consider the another equation for calculating the main dimensions L and D. So, one relation, of course, we got from output equation d square l the sec for second relation I mean there are number of criteria here we are considering for a good power factor l upon tau should be 1 to 1.25 to considering the l upon tau equal to 1 it give overall good electrical design induction motor so taking l upon tau equal to l upon pi d by 6 that is 1 so it comes l equal to another relation comes l equal to 0 0.523 d so it putting the value so here d comes 0.25 4 meter and L comes 0 0.14 meter. Now, coming to the calculation of stator design. So, for stator design, first we go to the stator voltage per phase, e phase which is given for delta e star delta e star with the starter. So, finally, winding is supposed to be in delta connection. So, phase voltage equal to same line voltage that is ES equal to 440 volt. And now we can calculate the, typically the flux, maximum flux per pole that can be average tau into L. So, it comes putting a value of <coughs> B average final it comes 8.25 into 10 power minus 3 Weber and from this we can calculate the now state return per phase TS equal to ES upon 4.44 F 5 M into KW. So, it comes 250 turns with the round off and taking the slot per pole per phase for stator QS equal to 3. So, slot stator total stator slot comes M equal to QS into P. So, it comes 3 into 3 into 6 that is 54. Now we can calculate the slot pitch that is YSS equal to pi d, pi d divided by number of slots. So, putting value it comes 14.5 millimeter and total number of conductors now we can calculate 6 into TS. So, it is a uh, 3 phase into the typically 3 and in each turn there are 2 turns. So, it becomes 6 TS for 3 phase winding. So, that comes 6 into 250 that is come 1500. So, conductor per slot we can round off that is ZSS equal to 15 upon 50. 54 it comes 28 as a round off and now we can of course retrieve back again to get the total number of turns. Now D equal to 0.25 meter and L equal to 0 0.14 as we got from output equation. So tau is 0 0.13 meter 131 meter. So length of the core is now 140 millimeter and therefore one radial ventilation dust of 10 millimeter in width is provided considering of stacking factor of lamination of 0.9. So, net iron length is Li equal to K in, into L minus N D W D that comes typically 0 0.117 meter or 
centimeter or 117 millimeter is the now net iron length. A lamination of alloy steel of 0.5 mm thickness are considered here. Coming to now stator design, so slot winding. Stator winding is delta connected in order to the machine may be started by star delta starter and now stator voltage is equal to 440. So, total number of that is stator conductor we got it. So, number of slot conductor per slot is say 15 over 28 and total number conductor ZSH into SH it comes like 28 into 54 to 1512 and stator turn per phase comes T S equal to ZSH into SH 1 to 1. So, it comes 252. So, number of conductor use is very near to the calculated value and therefore, the value of the flux density need to be modified. So, here we use the mass winding in parallel side to semi closed slot. So, coil span is C S equal to slot per pole phase S S bound P it comes 9. So, there is a odd number and allowed for pill pitch coil. So, pitch factor is 1. So, now with the pitch factor of 1 and so distribution factor is sin sigma upon Q sin sigma by 2 Q. So, putting the values I mean into here with the 60 degree phase is so it comes 0 0.96. And stator winding factor comes KD into KP, it comes 0.96 into 1 to 0.96. And now conductor size, stator current per phase <coughs> is IS equal to P upon 3 into ES into PF into efficiency. So, it comes 11.25 ampere. And taking current density of 4 ampere per meter square, so area of conductor is IS upon JS, so it comes 11.25 divided by 4, so it comes 2.81 millimeter square. Now, Chosen to use two conductor of 1.4 millimeter bear in parallel. So, diameter of insulator conductor is 1.505 millimeter and area of insulator conductor is AS equal to 2 pi d by 4. So, it comes like putting value 3.08 millimeter square. Now, coming to finding out slot dimension. Now, each conductor consists of two wires outside of outside diameter 1.505 millimeter in parallel. So, there are 28 conductor per slot, therefore, there are 56 wires in a slot. So, now looking this the geometry that we have parallel slot and all dimensions are given here according to the calculation and we have typically the slot width of WSS 8.4 millimeter by adding the four layers of typically the conductors and slot lining, I mean 2 into 0.5 and slot over slackness of 1.48, so it comes slot width about WSS 8.50 millimeter. Similarly, we can have a slot depth. I mean, for finding typically from 14, typically wires of 14 into 1.505 and slot lying 3 into 0.5 and wedge of 3 millimeter, lip of 1 millimeter and slot uh, etc. equal to 2.43. So, at totaling, I mean, the depth of the slot becomes a DSS equal to 29 millimeter as you can see in the diagram. Now, coming to typically now for Further design of stator before proceeding further the flux density at a section having a minimum width of 2 must be checked. So, slot pitch at typically at A that is at cross section of narrow end it comes W2 equal to slot pitch minus slot width. So, it comes 15 minus 8.5 millimeter. So, WT is 6.5 millimeter. So, flux density in the at this ATT it comes 5 upon S, SP up into W2 into LI. So, of putting the value it comes to be TTA equal to 1.21 Tesla. So, this is within the limit of less than typically order of around 1.8 Tesla. Now, the dimension of stator slot. So, width of the slot is WSS equal to 9.5 millimeter as we got it and depth we calculate 29 millimeter. So, now we can find out the mean turn length and TS will be equal to 12 plus 2.3 top plus 0.24 meter. So, putting the value it comes 0.82 meter. And now finding out the for the calculation of stator core, the flux in the core is 5 pole by 2. So, putting the value it comes 4.125 into 10 power minus 3 Weber. And it, uh, considering the flux density of 1.2 Tesla for the core, so area of the stator core is ACS equal to 5 core upon B core. And putting the value it comes 3.54 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. So, now coming to depth of the core, DCS equal to ACS into LI. So putting the value it comes like a 30.3 into 10 power minus 3 that comes 30.3 millimeter and outside diameter of the stator lamination do equal to d plus 2 dcs plus dss so it comes 368 millimeter and the rotor design that's air gap equal to length of air gap equal to lg in equal to 0.2 plus under root 2 dlm 
putting the value it comes 0.55 mm and diameter of the rotor is dr equal to dl minus 2 lg so it comes like a 2 250 minus 2 into 0.55 it comes 243.9 millimeter now coming to typically rotor design so now for the rotor slot the number of rotor slots is chosen such that the smooth starting and accelerating condition are obtained they secure by adopting one slot less than one slot more per pole pair in the rotor and the stator so taking a rotor slot a pair of poles more than the stator the number of rotor slot will be sr equal to ss plus q by 2 so it comes like 56 by plus 6 by 2 equal to 57 and the rotor slot pitch y s r equal to pi d minus 2 lg upon s r uh, so it comes 13.7 millimeter now coming to calculation of rotor bars so current in each rotor bar is i b equal to 2 m k omega s t s upon s r into i s into cos phi so putting the value it comes 250 ampere and, and considering the current density of 5 ampere per millimeter squared in the rotor bar because of better cooling area of bar comes a b equal to i b upon j b that is a 250 upon 5 that is a 50 millimeter square so a rotor bar of 5 millimeter wide and 10 meter deep is considered here to take care of the area of 50 millimeter square now coming to calculation of complete rotor design so area of the bar use is 50 meter square with the dimensions of 10 into 5 so dimensions of the rotor slot are ws Width is WSR equal to 6 millimeter and depth is DSR 13 millimeter for even providing the clearance for die casting. So, before proceeding further, the flux density at the root of the rotor teeth must be assessed to take care that the it is not exceeding a limit. So, slot pitch at the root of the width equal to pi dr minus 2 DSR upon as the putting value it comes 12.3 millimeter and tooth width at the root of the teeth is WT equal to slot width minus WSR. So, it comes like 6.3 millimeter so now flux density at the root of the t is pi upon sr upon p into l into w2 so it comes around 1.18 tesla this is within the limit and therefore i required for the rotor teeth will not excessive so bar are skewed one slot pitch so extending the bar about 20 millimeter beyond the core length on each side by taking 10 millimeter increase in the length of four screen so length of each bar will be with the square l b equal to lr plus 2 into 20 plus 10 so it comes 190 millimeter or 0 0.19 meter and resistance of each bar rb equal to p rho cu lb upon ab so it comes 80 into 10 power minus 6 ohm and the total copper loss in the bar will be your pv equal to sr ib square rb so it comes 285 watt now coming to the entering calculation to so entering current is i equal to sr upon ib into pi b putting value it comes 755 ampere and taking current density of 5 ampere per meter so area and operand is a equal to i upon j so it comes 151 millimeter square so using a ending of depth of 15 into 10 section so depth of the ring is d equal to 15 millimeter and thickness of t equal to 10 millimeter and area of the ring provided a a equal to d into t that is a 150 meter millimeter square and mean diameter of the end ring that is a d equal to 0, 209 millimeter so or 0 0.209 meter so resistance of each end ring rho equal to rho cu r equal to rho cu d upon a putting the value it comes 92 into 10 power minus 6 ohm now copper loss in the two end ring or winding loss in the two end ring is rho p equal to 2 into i square r e putting a value it comes 105 watt and total total winding loss in the rotor it is a pb plus p equal to so, I mean 285 plus 105 390 watt and we have here rotor winding loss divided by output s upon 1 minus s and keeping the value that from here s upon 1 minus s the rotor typically we can find out the full load slip from this relation so depth of the rotor core is taken equal to now rotor core now depth of the rotor core uh, to that of hysteric core the area of the flux density in the rotor core same as the hysteric core so depth of the rotor core is dcr equal to 30 millimeter and in the diameter of rotor dimension dr equal to dsr minus 2 dcr it comes 0 0.163 millimeter it says 0 0.163 meter now coming to the calculation of parameters i mean this was the dimensions now we can calculate the parameters typically the no load current so first coming to the magnetizing for calculation there are two part of the no load current one is the magnetizing current another is the loss component of current so coming to magnetizing current the mf 
required for various parts of magnetic circuit are calculated here. First, taking a air gap. So, for stress slot opening, W upon the gap length equal to 3 upon 0 0.55, that is a 5.45 and 4 corresponding to the this ratio, the Carter coefficient comes 0 0.63. So, gap contraction factor for stress slot is KGSS equal to YSS upon YSS minus KCS into W0, so it comes 1.15. And for rotor slot opening upon gap length is a 2 upon 0 0.58. So, this comes like a 3.64. And now, MF required for various part of magnetic circuit, we can calculate here for rotor slot opening upon gap length 0 0.25. So, corresponding Carter coefficient is 0 0.51 and gap contraction factor KGSR equal to YSR upon YSN KCR into so it comes 1.08. So, gap contraction for the so slot comes KGS equal to KGSS into KGSR. So, it comes 1.24, 2 and now ratio of duct width to half the gap length, it comes 36.4. So, now corresponding to this ratio of 36.4, we have a, a Carter coefficient of 0 0.9 and gap contraction factor for duct KGD comes L upon L minus N D W D K C D putting value it comes 1.07. And total gap contraction is kg equal to kgs into kgd so it comes like 1.33 and effective length of air gap now as lgs equal to kg into lg so it comes around 0 0.732 millimeter the flux density in the air gap at 60 degree form interpolar axis is bg 60 equal to 1.36 b average so it comes like a 0 0.612 tesla and mf for air gap atg equal to 18 to 10 power 5 into B G 60 LGS putting value it comes 375 ampere. Now for coming to MF calculation for stator T, the width of stator T is that one third height of the narrow end, it comes to W at 3 1 by 3. So putting value pi D pi D plus 2 D S S by 3 divided by S S minus W T. So it comes 7.15 millimeter. And the area of the teeth per pole at one third of height A T S 1 by 3 as P S S upon P into W H 3 into L i, so putting value it comes 7.53 10 power minus 3 meter square, so flux density B T S 1 by 3 comes here pi upon A T S, so putting value what it comes 1.95 Weber per meter square or Tesla. So now coming to the, I mean calculation of M F for stator teeth, so for stator teeth is B T S 6 T equal to 1.36 into B T S 1 by 3, so it comes 1.4892 Tesla and corresponding to this flux density. The per unit MF comes ATS equal to 900 uh, ampere per meter and MF required for stator teeth ATS equal to ATS into DCS that comes 27 ampere and now for stator core area of the core is your ACS equal to DCS into LI so it comes 35.1 10 power minus 3 meter square and flux density in the core is BCS pi upon ACS so it comes 1.17 paper per meter square and corresponding to this flux density per unit MF is your ATCS comes to 80 ampere per meter. So, calculating the length of the magnetic circuit part in stator core LCS equal to pi do D plus do DSS plus DCS pi 3 P and calculating LCS from this relation comes 59 to 10 power minus 3. So, MF required for stator core comes capital ATCS equal to small ATCS into LCS. So, putting value it comes 17, 17 ampere. Now, coming to MF calculation for rotor teeth, the width of the rotor teeth at one third height of from narrow end is a WTS equal to pi and bracket pi D minus 4 SR by S, SR into WTR, putting value it comes 6.75 millimeter. Now, coming to calculation of MF for rotor teeth, so WTR is 6.75 millimeter, the area of the teeth is ATR into SR upon P into LI into WTR, so it comes 7.5 into 10 power minus 3 in meter square. So, flux density row 30 that one third height is a BDR pi upon ATR, so putting value it comes 1.1 Tesla and corresponding uh, M per unit MF for this flux density from magnetization characteristic of material comes a small ATR equal to 900 ampere per meter. I have required for rotor T ATR or capital ATR equal to ATR into DSR, so putting value it comes 12 ampere. Now, coming to MF calculation for rotor core, from the previous calculation, we have area of the core equal to ACR equal to 3.15 into 10 power minus 3 meter square and flux density rotor core is ACR equal to 1.175 Tesla and per meter ATCR equal to 80 ampere and length of magnetizing path in rotor core LCR equal to pi in, in bracket D minus 2 DSR minus DCR by 3P, putting value it comes 34 mm, MF required for rotor 
capital A T C R equal to small a T C R into L C R. So it comes around 9 ampere. Now calculating total magnetizing current for the all five parts of magnetic circuit with the starting air gap, stator teeth, stator core, rotor teeth, and rotor core. With the area here, length here, and flux density here, and B60, uh, flux density at 60 degree, and the per unit MF, and then total MF. So it total MF comes 860 equal to 422, and magnetizing current per phase I am equal to 0 0.427 P into 8065. KWS into TS, putting value it comes 4.47 ampere. Now coming to second component of no load current, that is a loss component. For calculation of this, we have here the mean width of the stator teeth WS equal to 7.75 millimeter and width of the stator teeth KGS equal to SS into DSS into WTS into L into sigma R. So putting the value it comes 10.8 kg and the maximum flux density in the teeth one third height. 5 by 2 into BTS, it comes 1.72 Tesla. So, corresponding to this specific iron loss is 11 watt per kg. So, now the iron loss in teeth is kgs into typically specific iron loss. So, putting the value of this, it comes 120 watt and mean periphery of stator core pi d minus pi ts is 1.06 meter. So, flux density in your core is 1.175 and corresponding iron loss per unit is uh, per unit weight is 4.8 watt per kg. Now, the iron loss in stator core is I mean, weigh, <coughs> this specific weight into weight, so that 28.2 into 4.8, 135 watt, and the total iron loss in the teeth and core is 120 plus 135, 255 watt, and the actual iron loss is about two times the total so total iron loss is 510 watt. So friction voltage loss is one percent of this, so it's 110 watt. So total loss is 510 plus 110 plus 220 watt. The so loss component of no load current is IL equal to total no loss of divided by three years. So it comes 0 0.47 ampere. The load current is I0 equal to 100 root 4.47 square plus 0.47 square to 4.5 ampere. And no load power factor is cos phi equal to IL upon I0. It comes 0 0.1045. Now coming to the calculation of your torso block rotor parameters, typically the leakage reactances and resistances. So coming to that, we have to calculate slot leakage, typically the permeance of slot, so lambda SS giving mu 0 in bracket h1 upon 3 ws, 2 upon ws plus 2 h3 of ws plus w0 plus h4 ws and keeping the value it comes 26.3 into 10 power minus 3 and similarly for rotor slot look at the permeans so lambda s r equal to mu 0 with the, all the same dimensions so it comes 15.9 into 10 power minus 7 and now coming to lambda s r square that is a permeans referred to stator. So, lambda SCR into K omega square into SS upon K square, K omega R square SR. So, putting value it comes 13.9 into n power minus 7. So, total specific permeance referred to stator is lambda S equal to lambda SS plus lambda SR. So, putting value it comes 40.2 into 10 power minus 7. So, now, so total slot leakage is X equal to 8 pi F T P H square L lambda upon PQ. So, putting the value it comes X is equal to 2.5 ohm and overhaul overhang leakage, I mean typically L0, lambda 0, putting value mu 0, ks into S square pi g by SS, putting value it comes 4.74, 10 power minus 7 and overhang leakage reaction from the same formula using 8 pi into F t square L lambda upon PQ into X, that comes 2.1 ohm and zigzag reactance, we calculate from magnetizing to XM upon ES upon IS, so it comes 98.4, so zigzag is 5 by 6 XM upon M square in bracket 1 upon q s square plus 1 upon q r square so it comes 1.92 ohm so total leakage reactance if to stator is x s equal to x s small x s plus x 0 plus x z it comes 6.52 ohm and stator resistance per phase r s equal to rho c u into t s into l m t s upon a c u it, it comes 1.41 ohm and total stator co plus m is i square r s equal to 536 watt and total resistance referred to stator is RR dash equal to 4 MTS square KWS square rho in bracket LB upon SR into AB plus 2 upon pi D upon P square into A. That comes 1.35 ohm. So total resistance referred to stator is R is equal to R small R R S plus R square. So 1.41 into 1 plus 1.35 it comes 2.76 ohm. Now the total impedance for phase Z is equal to under root S square plus R 
that comes to 6.5 to square plus 2.76 or 7.1 ohm and now the block loader current is is equal to es upon zs that is 440 upon 7.162 ampere and the work loader power factor cos phi is equal to rs upon zs that putting a value 2.76 by divided by 7.1 0 0.389 and now coming to loss and efficiency calculation the output at the full load is 11 kilowatt that is 11000 watt and sum of losses is 1546 watt as we have calculated all the losses and input is now 11,000 plus 1546 so it comes 12,546 and now efficiency is it equal to P upon P in into 100 putting the value it comes 87.7 percent like now coming to <coughs> temperature state of temperature right <coughs> state of price calculation we have to calculate the losses as well total surface area the power cooling coefficient as given in the table for different parts and cooling effect how it is considered with the peripheral speed you see the cooling coefficient c in middle uh, column of this table so now cooling coefficient are taken from the table the outer cylindrical surface of stator core that is pi d 0 l equal to putting value it comes 0 0.162 watt meter square and cooling coefficient for outer surface is 0 0.0 so, inner cylindrical surface of stator core pi dl and value now comes with the after putting the value 0 0.11 meter square and peripheral speed b equal to pi dn as so it comes 13 meter per second and cooling coefficient for inner surface is equal to 0 0.033 divided by 1.0.1 va peripheral speed so putting value it comes 0 0.0143 uh, 0 0.0143 now coming to loss dissipated for the inner, inner sur stator surface so inner cylindrical area divided by c so 0 0.11 divided by 1 0 0.143 that's 7.68 watt per meter per centigrade area of end surface include ducts 0 0.255 meter square and air velocity in duct wd into va that putting value it comes 1.3 meter per second so cooling coefficient for ducts cd equal to putting the value 0 0.08 to 0 0.2 into a so for giving a value of around 0.5 divided by 1.3 it comes 0 0.115 and loss is dissipated from end surface and this ducts is area of ducts divided by cd so that is a 0 0.0225 divided by 0 0.115 that comes 1.96 watt per centigrade now total loss dissipation is loss plus i mean outer loss plus inner loss plus loss in duct so putting value it comes 14. 56 degrees centigrade to so temperature rise theta equal to total loss to be dissipated divided by loss dissipated per centigrade rise of temperature so putting value is 693 divided by 14.56 it comes 47 degrees celsius and has the temperature rise is within the safe limit of 50 degrees celsius what we have considered initially now coming to the subjective questions uh, what are the main construction part of three phase induct motor like stator rotor and closure and housing what are the types of the slots used in stator theory of open and semi close slot and what are the effect of presence of harmonic torque in three phase induction motor major physical phenomena are crawling and cogging and noise problems give the efficiency or and power factor of induction motor of different rating the square cage efficiency of medium rating motors is 0 0.72 percent to 91 percent and power factor 0 0.66 to 0.9 and slip ring induction motor efficiency is from 84 to 91 percent power factor 0 0.72 92. So, this IC specification says the product of efficiency and power factor should be in the range of 0.83 to 0.88 for the medium power rate. Now, to coming to the question 5, what are the major differences in construction between square cage and slipping motor? The main construction difference between square cage and slipping motor are like a square cage, sir, it is of less cost, it has a rigid construction, it is produces a small starting torque, insertion of resistance into it is not possible. In slipping, it is costly, it has a wear and tear due to the brushes and slipping. It produces large starting torque by inserting the resistance, inserting of resistance possible in the rotor circuit for control of the characteristic. So, what are the, in, the to increase the starting torque in a skull cage? Okay, starting torque of a skull cage account can be increased by using either a double cage or deep bar rotor. Express the range of no load current as a percentage of full load current of three phase induction. No load current to of three phase induction motor is in the range of about 25 to 40 percent of full load current. What are the effect of the replacement of copper and ring by brass and ring on the performance of slipping uh, resistance of and ring with the replacement of copper to a brass resulting in a higher higher winding loss in the end ring and thereby in reducing the efficiency of the motor. 
to mention the various quality of three phase induction motor compared to the other electric motor. Three phase induction motor have the following quality in comparison to all electric motor like it is a more robust, cheaper and require less maintenance. Question number one, what is the no load current of induction motor? Why the no load current of induction motor is higher than the of transformer of same rating? The answer is no load current of induction motor is much higher than that of a transformer with presence of air gap between the stirred and rotor and presence of slots in the stirred and rotor. Now, question 12, what are the, why the starting torque is higher in slip ring? The starting torque of slip ring induction motor within can be increased by increasing the rotor action. An external resistance can be inserted in the rotor circuit of slip ring at the instant of starting resulting in higher starting torque. The external resistance is finally cut and the resistance by rotor winding is short circuit for normal operation. Question 13, how can perfect of induction motor can be improved? The perfect can be improved by making the following changes, reducing the ampere turns per pole, reducing the air gap density or reducing the length of air gap. Calculate the value of maximum perfect of induction motor distribution, distribution coefficient is 0.05. So, maximum power factor is 1 minus this person factor divided by 1 person, so it comes 0 0.905. Why the close type of slots commonly used in a smaller induction motor? The close slots are used in the following region, it makes the reluctance more uniform, it reduces the magnetizing current, it improves the power factor, it lowers the tooth pulsation loss and ensures the quiet operation or reduces the noise and vibration. Why is the applicability of three phase induction motor in industry as a farm sector is more compared to other motor? Application of three phase is called induction motor is spread due to following region. Construction is robust, efficiency is good, and maintenance is cheaper and starting is easy. Now, question 17 Why are the large number of induction motors made with the square phase rotors? The construction wise, the square cage machine is robust and requires very low maintenance, and this makes it cheaper. Hence, a large number of induction motors are made of square cage rotor. Question 18, state the specific requirement for which wound rotor induction motor is needed. The answer is wound rotor induction motor required for application requiring speed control and high starting torque. Now, question 19, why an induction motor called rotating transformer? The operating principle of induction motor is similar to that of transformer. The stator winding is equivalent to primary winding of and the rotor is winding equivalent to short circuit second winding of the transformer. In transformer, the second winding is stationary, but in induction motor, it can rotate. Therefore, the induction motor is also called rotating transformer. Explain how the slip ring motor is started. The slip ring motor is started by rotor resistance starter. The starter consists of a variable resistance and protection circuit and an R start connector. Resistance are connected in slip ring on the rotor. So, while starting, the full resistance is included in the rotor circuit to get high starting torque and low starting current. And then the Resistance are gradually cut in a step at running condition, the slip rings are short circuit, so the equivalent it, it becomes equivalent to a square gauge rotor. Now coming to the sold numerical problems. The first numerical calculate the following design information for 30 kilowatt, 440 volt, 3 phase, 6 pole, 50 hertz delta connect a square gauge inductor motor. Um, calculate the main dimensions of frame, number of turns per page in slot and number of stator slot and number of conductor per slot. So, solution in uh, for considering the uh, various missing data for a specific magnetic one considering the B average equal to 0 0.48 Tesla specific loading 26 kilo ampere or 1000 per ampere per meter full load efficiency eta equal to 0.88 and full load power factor 0.88. So, as considering the full pitch winding, so with the winding factor KW equal to 0 0.955. Now, coming to main dimension of history frame. Output equation, output coefficient C0 1.11 pi square KW into B average AC eta into cos phi into n power minus 3. So, it comes after putting value 99.2 and synchronous speed of the machine NS equal to 1.2 F by B, it comes 16.66 RBS and D square product D comes 1 upon C0 Q upon N. So, it comes 0 0.01815 meter cube and for best power factor D equal to 0 0.35 p under root l, so it comes here are solving these two equations, so it comes uh, l comes 0 0.17 meter and d comes 0 0.33 meter. Now, number of history run per phase, plus per pole pi equal to pi d upon p l into b average, so putting value it comes 0 0.0141 Weber and applied voltage per phase is v phase equal to 414 into 4 delta connection. And considering the induced MF equal to apply voltage, the state turn per phase is EPH 4.44 FKW into 5, so putting value it comes 
Now coming to number of hysteria slots, the large number of hysteria slots is desirable for the consideration of leakage reaction. However, it results in increased cost and weight of the reaction. The considering the above factor, the number of slots per per pair page is considered as three. The total number of slots S S equal to S. Uh, this typically three into six into three. That comes fifty four. And number of hysteria slots per page S S into M it comes eighteen. So number of slot conductor per slot total conductor per slot T conductor equal six up. T S upon M, so it comes to 94, and total number of conductor per slot, I mean, comes now T conductor by S S upon M, so it comes 16. So hence the revised conductor per page is S upon M into this, so it comes to 86, and number of turns revised finally selected T P S dash equal to T conductor by 2, that comes 143. Now coming to second sole example, during the Preliminary design of 5 kilowatt, 3 page, 4 pole, 50 hertz delta connected is 12 kg electric motor. Following information I have been obtained: gross length of stator 0.1 meter, stator bore diameter 0.147 meter. Estimated the stator bore diameter and gross length of 47.5 kilowatt, 3 page, 4 pole, 400 volt, 4 pole, 50 hertz delta connected is 12 kg electric motor. Assume uh, with the same specific loading as the 5 kilowatt and missing data may be should be considered. So synchronous speed of 5 kilowatt motor is N is equal to typically your 2 into 50 by 4 to 25 RPS. So for output coefficient for 5 kilowatt motor C0 equal to Q upon D square length. So it comes 69.2. So design assumption for 5 kilowatt motor is full load efficiency 0.85, full load power factor 0.85, and full pay, for fuel pitch winding factor KW is 0.955. So thus putting value in this equation it comes B average into A equal to 9060. So putting this value. We get a less than B average into S nine. So specific loading for seven point five kilowatt come nine zero six zero and design for seven point five kilowatt with full load efficiency eight six and full load power factor point eight six six and wind pitch factor point nine five. The output coefficient of K S comes it to seventy. So for seven point five kilowatt induction motor D S R L equal to putting the value it comes four point two eight into one power five meter and for best power factor D equal to point one three five. P into D L, putting the value L, L comes 0.12 and D comes 0.19. Now D2 square L2, we can keep the all the value K W K W one N S one upon N S two D one square L one. So putting the value it comes 6.8 times power minus 3 meter cube. Number of pole six. So ratio comes L upon top 0.9 0.51. So thus L upon pi D six pi where we it comes 0.51. So L two comes 0.26 D two. And putting the value of d square l to this 6.8 ten power minus 3 meter, so we can get the value of typically from here the d cube equal to 6.8 ten power minus 3 meter cube, and d two comes from this comes 0.294, and l two comes 0.078 meter. Now coming to example, solve example third, the stator of three phase 30 kilowatt 450 hertz six pole is 12 kg. Induction motor has been designed for 54 slot. The rotor for this motor is designed for the following rotor slot: 36, 42, 46, 47, 48, 52, 53, 45. This is a possible defect in various design, if any. Now select the best common SIP rotor slot. So number of stator slot is 54. Number of rotor slot 36. So difference of the stator and rotor slot 56 minus 36, 18. In this combination, the difference between the stator and rotor slot is equal to 18. So three times the number of poles, thus the cogging and crawling phenomena will be observed with this combination of the stator and rotor slot. Hence rejected. Now coming to second combination, number of slot stator is 54, number of rotor slot 42. So difference of the these two slots comes around 12. The difference is of this is 12. Then two times the number of poles, this so fair chance of the motor develop hook or torque speed characteristic and not desirable. So number of taking a third option, number of slots equal to Stator slot 54, number of rotor slot 46. So difference of these two comes 8, and the difference between the stator and rotor slot is P plus 2. So number of motor will create a lot of noise during the working condition. So hence this combination also rejected for noisy behavior. So now coming to number of stator slot equal to 54, number of rotor 47. So S1 minus S2 comes 54 minus P plus 1. So the effect of this combination of stator slot will be the same as mentioned in third, and so why did? So coming to next combination, stator and rotor 54 and number of rotor 48. So S1 minus S2 it comes 54 minus 48 P. So thus this combination of stator slot will be same as discussed, second and not desirable. Now coming to sixth combination, number of stator slot 54, number of rotor 52. S1 minus S2 is a 54 minus 
the effect of this will be noisy of the motor and so wide the number of stereo slot 51 number of total slot for seventh option 53 so s1 minus s2 is equal to 1 so with this combination of stereo motor will be quiet and noisy will be quite noisy and hence rejected number of stereo 54 number of 45 1 minus s2 equal to 54 minus 4 9 this combination of stereo avoid the cogging growling hooks and cups or in the synchronous character toxic character and also also noisy has the best combination of stereo and slow to slow now coming to uh, example 4 a three phase 300 3000 volt line 260 volt 260 kilowatt 50 hertz stand pole skull cage in the motor gave the following result during preliminary design the internal diameter of stator is 35 centimeter gross length of 35 centimeter number of stator slot 125 number of conductor per slot 10 assuming the efficiency 90 percent power factor of 0.9 based on the above data calculate the following skull Followings for the this is called gauge index motor total loss in the rotor bar, loss in the endings, and equivalent resistance of the rotor in terms of. Now, coming to with the given data, total loss in the rotor bar will be for the calculation of the first the bar current has to be determined. The bar current depends on the upon the your rotor slot, and as such, the number of rotor slot will be decided to start with the number of rotor slot equal to number of post and number of stator slot one to toward the three bad effect cogging pro. Synchronous cups and noise operates the difference between the number of slot commands will not be equal to 1, 2, 10 plus 1, 10 plus 2, 10, 2 into 10, 2, 3 into 10 into. So, the considering the above, the number of rotor slots selected for this motor is 115. Now, coming to total loss calculation in rotor bar, the rotor bar current is current per bar is given IB equal to KW, KW1 into S. SSZ1 S divided by KW, KW2 into SR into Z2 to I2. So, number of stator slot is 120, number of conductor per slot is 10, so its winding factor is KW1 0.95, number of rotor bars is, rotor slots is 115, number of conductor per bar is 1 and equivalent current, rotor current I2 equal to 0.85 I1. So, now coming to rotor bar calculation comes with the relation putting the value of I1 is calculating 61.5, so putting the value of I bar comes typically 512 ampere. Now, coming to sectional area of the board, considering the current density of 6.5 ampere per meter square because of better cooling of the rotor. So, sectional area bar of A bar equal to I bar divided by J bar, so putting value 80.2 ampere per meter square and length of the bar equal to length of the rotor bar, gross length plus allowable cure clearance, clearance of 5 centimeters taken for is going the and the distance between the ends of. So, length of the bar is L plus allowances, so it comes 35.5, 30. 5 plus 5, 40 centimeters, that is 0.4 meter. And resistance of bar equal to resistance of bar equal to rho b, r b equal to rho c u into l b r a bar, to opening value 1.05 into 10 power minus 4 ohm. Loss in the rotor bar is total loss in the rotor bar. V bar equal to nr i b square r b, to opening value is come 3278 watt. And losses in endings is equal to i equal to i bar into number of rotor bar per pole by pi, so it comes 1907 ampere. Losses in ending assuming current density again of 6.5 ampere per meter square in the ending. So, considering this actually A equal to I upon J, so it comes 293.3 millimeter square. So, mean diameter of ending can be taken 10 centimeters and the end diameter of history D equal to V minus 10 centimeters that comes 65 centimeter and mean length of the current path in ending L equal to pi D 2043.3 centimeter. The resistance of ending R equal to so, C into L upon A, the voting value comes 1.43 into 10 power minus 4 ohm. Total loss in endings comes V equal to 2 IE square RE. Voting value comes 1063 watt. Total rotor losses, uh, couple losses or winding loss CP or P rotor is P bar plus P, that comes 4341 watt. And equivalent rotor current is IE 2 equal to 0.85 I1, so it comes 5, 52 point M. 3 ampere, so equivalent resistance of in on stator side uh, r equal to rotor bar losses into 3 into i2 square, so it comes 0.53 ohm. So, coming to fifth uh, numerical problems, the uh, following information have been obtained during the design of three phase uh, 6600 volt 850 kilowatt 50 hertz 12 volt in slipping motor, gross length of stator is 45 centimeter, internal diameter 
Oyster core is 122 centimeter, number of oyster slot 144, number of conductor per slot 10, and voltage between slip rings at the starting 600 volt. And oyster connection present design efficiency equal to 92 percent, power factor 0.9. So, based on the bow and first design of on rotor of the motor. So, diameter of dotage length of the air gap L is equal to 0.2 200 DL. So, it comes 0.65. 1.68 millimeter to so diameter of rotary dr equal to b minus 2 lg it comes from 1.217 meter so now coming to number of rotor slots giving due consideration to various coefficient factor the number of slot per pole per page is taken as a three and a half so thus the rotor of slots comes yours sr equal to 3.5 into 12 into 3 126 and rotor slot which comes tor equal to pi dr upon ss so it comes 0 0.03 303 and number of rotor zones comes voltage at starting between slip ring 600 volt so with the star correction of hysteromatic the hysteromatic voltage per phase is vl upon root 3 so it comes like typically your 6600 by root 2 to 3810 so now considering the es equal to 3810 winding factor for the rotor winding can be assumed equal to the hysteromatic kws equal to kwr and total number of stir conduct t conductor into ssr that's a 10 into 144 so 1440 and the state transfer page is now T is equal to SS upon M into T conductor by 2. So it comes to 40. And then total number of terms comes to R equal to ES up ER upon ES into KWS upon KWR into TS. So putting the value like a 600 by root 3 upon 3810 into 1 into 40 is comes 22. And total conductor per phase is T conductor 2 into TR 34. Not number slot per per the SR upon M that comes 126 by 3 that's 42. So now rotor terms per page TR equal to 22. Rotor conductor per phase is T conductor 2 TR 44. Rotor conductor per phase is SR upon M that's a 42. To accommodate number of conductor in 42 slot. So conductor per slot is 1 1 and 42 44 conductor to 40 44 conductor to 40 to 42 conductor. Convert to modify value of turn per phase TR that is equal to 1 into 21. So, rotor current is now with given efficiency of 92 percent. So, input power to the motor P in equal to P upon P efficiency it comes 9 to 4 kilowatt and full load power factor 0.91. So, stator full load current comes from I S equal to P in upon 3, 3 page 3 EPH into PF. So, it comes like 88.8 ampere and equivalent rotor current IR equal to 0.85 IS. So, it comes like a point. Uh, 75.5 ampere and rotor current IR equal to KWS into SS into JDS divided by EG KWR to SSR ZSR into IR it comes like 863 ampere. Now full load power factor is your 0.91 so state of full load current per phase IS uh, yeah it comes IS equal to 8.8 equivalent rotor current is your 75 and rotor current is 8 63 so dry rotor conductor size is your current density is taken 5 ampere per meter square to so cross section area of the rotor bar is a r equal to i r upon j r so it comes your 172.6 millimeter is 5 so now size the size is so large that the conductor stand is 4 rectangular strip each of 43.15 millimeter square in parallel is not size of rectangular strip selected 11 to millimeter into 4 millimeter so uh, and sectional area of standard rotor rectangular strip is 43.1 mp. Thus, the sectional area of rotor conduct 43.1 into 4, that is 172.4 millimeter square. And the size of rectangular strip is with insulation is 11.5 uh, millimeter into 4.5 millimeter. And this is typically found thus for the size of select selection is considered as 11 millimeter width with the thickness of typically of your 43.4. So that's standard selections. For the rotor bar now coming to four rectangular strips are arranged in the rotor slot two strips with width wise and two strips depth wise so with this arrangement the size of typically rotor slot is depth of the slot the space five by conductor two into 11.5 23 the slot line three into 1.5 4.5 slackness 3.5 wedge three, one millimeter lip is also two millimeter so total typically depth comes 34 millimeter similarly for the width of the slot space occupied by the conductor 2 into 4.5 that's a 9 millimeter slot lining 2 into 1.3 millimeter and slackness 1 millimeter the total width comes 13 millimeter so now coming to mean turn length of the conductor 
एल एम टी इक्वल टू टू एल प्लस टू पॉइंट थ्री टॉ इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट तो पुटिंग वैल्यू इट कम्स वन पॉइंट सेवन टू मीटर एंड द रेशंस ऑफ रोटर माइनिंग पर फेज आर टू इक्वल टू रो सी यू एल एम टी ए टी आर अपॉन ए कंडक्टर पुटिंग वैल्यू इट कम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर वन एंड कॉपल ऑफ इन द रोटर माइनिंग इज पी सी एम आई स्क्वायर आर 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 टू तो इट कम्स नाइन एट थ्री वन नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड थर्टी वन वाट कमिंग टू द सिक्स नुमेरिक एग्जाम्पल फाइंड द मैग्नेटाइजिंग करंट ऑफ ए टू पॉइंट टू किलो वाट टू पॉइंट टू टू किलो वाट थ्री फेज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी हर्ट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सिंक स्पीड इसका मोर टाइम फुल लोड एफिशंसी एट एंड परफेक्ट पॉइंट एट टू फाइव द मशीन टू बी स्टार्टेड बाई स्टार्ट डेल्टा स्टार्टर एजूम सुटेबल एंड जस्टिफाइड वैल्यू ऑफ रिमेनिंग डिजाइन डाटा तो कमिंग टू सिंकोनस स्पीड इट्स एन एस इक्वल टू एन एच एन अपॉन एच सो इट कम्स ट्वेंटी फाइव आर पी एस एंड पोल्स आर टू एफ अपॉन एच दैट कम्स फ्रो एजूंग एवरेज फ्लग डेंसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट फोर फोर टेस्ला मैन एम्पियर कंडक्टर लिंक ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड एंड वाइनिंग फैक्टर पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव फाइव तो के बी इनपुट क्यू इक्वल टू पी अपॉन एन इन टू पीटा इन टू पार फैक्टर तो इट कम्स थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री के वी ए नाउ कमिंग टू आउटपुट को विचेंट सी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन वन फाइव स्क्वायर के डब्ल्यू इन टू पी एवरेज इन टू ए सी तो पुटिंग वैल्यू इट कम्स नाइन्टी सेवन डी स्क्वायर प्रोडक्ट कम्स सी क्यू अपॉन सी जीरो एन एस तो इट कम्स वन पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव टेन टू पार माइनस थ्री मीटर एंड फॉर ए लो कॉस्ट डिजाइन एल अपॉन टू शुड बी बिटवीन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू तो टेकिंग एल अपॉन टॉ वन पॉइंट फाइव तो पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एल अपॉन टॉ वन पॉइंट यू गेट ए रिलेशन एल इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन एट डी एंड पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन द अब रिलेशन ऑफ डी स्क्वायर एल तो वी गेट डी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव मीटर एल इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव एंड टॉ इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट टू फाइव मीटर नाउ कमिंग टू स्टेटर वोल्टेज पर फेज दैट ई एस गिवेन फोर हंड्रेड वोल्ट फॉर डेल्टा कनेक्टर वाइनिंग एंड फ्लक्स फोर फाइव एम इक्वल टू बी एवरेज ए टॉ इन टू एल तो इस कम फोर पॉइंट फाइव फोर टेन पावर माइनस थ्री बैबर स्टेट ट्रांसफार फेज कम टी एस इक्वल टू ई अपॉन फोर पॉइंट फोर एफ फाइव पी इन टू के पी तो इस कम फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन टेकिंग स्लॉट पर पल पर फेज इक्वल टू टू तो स्टेट स्लॉट सीज एम इन टू क्यू इन टू पी पुटिंग वैल्यू कम ट्वेंटी फोर एंड स्लॉट स्टेट स्लॉट पीच का आई एस कम्स पुटिंग वैल्यू थर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड टोटल टोटल स्टेट कंडक्ट कम सिक्स टी एस दैट कम्स इक्वल टू फोर नाइन सिक्स एंड कंडक्टर पर स्लॉट इज जेड एस इक्वल टू फोर नाइन सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फोर दैट कम्स वन जीरो फोर तो मस वाइनिंग इज दर्ड सेमी क्लोज स्लॉट इज यूज इन स्टेट तो मस वाइनिंग इज सिंगल लेयर वाइनिंग ऑन द टोटल लेयर टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टेट कॉल्स इज इक्वल टू द हाफ ऑफ द स्टेट तो दैट्स ए ट्वेल्व तो क्वाल इज पेन सी एस इक्वल टू स्लॉट पर फोर तो एस एस वन पी दैट्स ए ट्वेंटी फोर बाई फोर सिक्स तो बट बट द कॉल्स शुल नॉट बी एनिवेंटी जनर इन केस ऑफ माइंड वाइंग is you thus the coil are charted by one slot pitch so angle of charting l5 equal to 1 by 6 into 180 30 degree so pitch factor becomes like kp cos l by 2 that's a point 0.966 point and distribution factor for slot 2 power i mean kd equal to sin sin sigma by 2 q sin sigma by 2 q putting value it comes by 0.96 point so stir winding factor kw is equal to kd into kp putting value it comes by 0.933 and conductor size calculation now for for this calculation of your, your stirred current is is equal to p upon 3 years into pf into efficiency so putting value 2.77 ampere and stirred line current is root 3 is that comes 4.8 ampere now taking current density 4 ampere per meter square so area of stirred conductor is is equal to is 1 js so it comes 0.6925 mm square and diameter of bare conductor comes 0.94 mm so nearest d is 0.95 the area of the stirred conductor u is s equal to 2 pi d square by 4 to putting value 0.709 mm current density at four stirred conductor delta sigma j is upon s so it comes 3.91 mm so and the diameter of enamel cover is d1 equal to 1.041 mm now coming to slot dimensions the space required for bare conductor in slot is zs is equal to s So putting the value is come seventy three point six millimeter square, and taking a space factor of point four for slot, the area of the slot each slot is S equal to J S into S into space factor. Uh, putting value it comes one eighty four millimeter square. So before deciding slot dimension to give the above area, the minimum slot width that will be that keep the flux density within the limit should be found. So maximum flux density in the I mean T T is quad is one point five seven tesla. So minimum width of the T uh, T is your pi s upon pi m upon B T S by by p into T, so it comes 3.94 95 millimeter square. 
So now taking a dimension, taper dimension of this with the given here in the figure and slot at the bottom, I mean for the relation pi d plus 2 into wedge plus slip plus 2 h upon s h minus w s minus pi d h upon by 12. So, putting the value, I mean virtually it comes here 8.88 pi d h upon by 12 I mean area of the conductor portion of the slot comes here with our half h 8.88 pi d h by fine. So, it comes 184 millimeter or h it from this comes 17 millimeter as you can see in the diagram. So, now coming to state design, so a tooth of constant uh, width of 6 millimeter is taken. So, suppose h is to be height of in millimeter as shown, the dimensions of the slot are work out as under, take a leap of 1 millimeter, edge of 3 millimeter, the slot width a is a pi in bracket pi into d plus 2 wedge plus slip plus 2 h upon h minus w t s, putting a value it comes 8.88 millimeter. Now, coming to 4 slot dimension, width of that the bottom is 8.88 pi g pi h upon 12, so it comes 13.2 millimeter as according to the diagram and depth of the slot is a h plus wedge plus slip, it comes 12, 21 millimeter. And the arrangement of conductor and the insulation are shown in the length of mean turn LMT shown in figure and mean turn length is now LMT 2 plus 2.3 to plus 2, 24, it comes 0 0.68 meter. Now, flux density T comes pi upon S h by P into W2 into L i. So, here it comes 1.12 Tesla, Bt is, but this is within the limit. So, for now coming to calculation of state core, flux in the core, phi core equal phi whole by 2. So, putting value it comes 2.27 into 10 power minus 3 Weber. And doing the flux density of 1.2 Tesla for the core, the area of state core is ACH equal to phi core upon B core. This comes 1.89 10 power minus 3 meter square. Now, depth of the state core is ACH upon Li, so it comes 16.8. 10 to the power minus 3 meter and taking a core depth of 17 millimeter to flux density state core BCS is equal to DCS into 1.2 divided by DCS. New it comes 1.818 Tesla. The outer diameter of state limits are DO equal to D plus 2 DCS plus DS. So it comes 118 millimeter. And now coming to rotor design. First we have to calculate the length of hair gap. So that rotor diameter can be calculated. So it comes length of the Air gap equal to 0 0.2 200 dl in millimeter putting value it comes 0.43 millimeter. Air gap is large, therefore, LG normally preferred for small rating motor 0.3 millimeter. Taking it then diameter dr equal to d minus 2 LG, so it comes 0.04.4 millimeter. Now, coming to for selection of rotor, typically rotor slots are calculation. The number of rotor slots is chosen such that the smooth is starting and accelerating condition are obtained. This is secured by adopting a one slot less than the one slot more per pole per pair. So, in the road, so taking a rotor slot per pole per less than one. So, number of rotor slots HR equal to SS H, H minus P by 2, this comes 22, and rotor slot P y S S pi into D minus 2 LG by SSR, so it comes 14 by 9 millimeter. Now, coming to calculation of rotor bar, so current density in each bar is I equal to 2 MT WS into S into I cos pi, putting value it comes 244 ampere. Assuming current density of 6 ampere per milliliter square because of better cooling in the rotor bar with the high strength, so area of the each bar is AB equal to IB upon JB and it comes 40.7 millimeter square. A bar of rotor bar of 6.5 millimeter and width of 7 millimeter deep is used with the area of 40.7 millimeter square. Now, coming to looking at figure as a dimension, so area of the bar is AB equal to 6, I mean, with this 44.6 millimeter, so dimensions of the rotor slot are. Width of the slot VSR equal to 6.8 millimeter and depth of HDSR equal to 9.3 millimeter. So before forging the flux density in that at the root of rotor teeth must be SS. So slot which has the rotor teeth is pi DSR minus 2 DSR by SR. So this comes 12.2 millimeter and two have the width of that comes slot with minus WSR that's come 5.4 millimeter. So flux density at the root comes 5m upon sr upon t into l upon wt it comes 1.36 tesla in the limit therefore the mf required for rotor loss will not be excessive the bars are skewed one slot per pitch to avoid the slot harmonics and noise and vibration and cogging excessive bar by 115 meter beyond the core length on each side taking a 10 millimeter as increase in length for screen the length of each bar is with screen l be equal to lr plus 2 into 15 plus 10 m, so it comes 165 m, 0.65 m meter, and resistance of bar is then RB 
rho C unit will be upon rho B. It comes like the 77.7 10 power minus 6 ohm. Total local power loss in the bar is PB equal to SR into IB square RB. So, it comes 101 watt. Now, coming to ending calculus, the ending current is I equal to SR IB upon pi P at 428 ampere. Taking current density of 6 millimeter ampere per millimeter square area of bar is I IJ upon J. So, it comes 71.3 millimeter square using ending depth of 10 into 8 uh, millimeter. So, depth of the ring is D equal to 10 and thickness is RET equal to 8 millimeter. Area of the ring provided A equal to D into T, 10 into 8 into 10 power 18 millimeter square and mean diameter of handling D equal to 75.8 millimeter. Resistance of each handling rho, rho R equal to rho C U into D upon A, so it comes 62.5 10 power 6 ohm. So, copper loss in the two handlings is P equal to I E square R E, it comes 23 watt. Total copper loss in the rotor P B upon P, that is 124 watt. So, we have rotor copper loss upon output plus upon min minus S. So, from here flip kite full load comes 5.6 percent. Now, coming to rotor core, depth of the rotor core is taken as equal to the stator core. So, area of the flux density in the rotor are same as the stator. So, depth of the rotor core comes DCR equal to 17 millimeter, inner diameter of rotor M is pi R, DR minus 2, DSR minus 2, DCR 51.8 millimeter. Now, coming to no load current calculation. That is typically a magnetizing current. So, MF required for various parts. All five parts are calculated here air gap for first for air gap for stator. I mean, for that we have to calculate contraction factor. So, for stator we have to have slot opening upon gap length. So, that is 2 upon 0.3, that is 6.67. And corresponding to this ratio, Carter coefficient is 0 0.68 from the graph. And gap contraction for stator slot KGS comes YSS upon YSS minus KCS in W0, it comes 1.11. For rotor, slot opening upon gap length comes 1.5, 1.35 and typically the MF required for rotor, it comes slot opening upon gap length equal to 1.5 by 3, 5 corresponding cut of 0.6, go to gap contraction factor for rotor slot KGS are equal to YSR divided by YSR minus KCR into W0, it comes 1.064 and gap contraction for rotor slot KGS is equal to KGS into KGSR equal to um, Putting value it comes 1.18 and kg equal to h1 there is no rotor duct present so now coming to total contraction factor kg equal to kg s kgd it comes 1.18 the equivalent length of hair gap comes kg lgs equal to kg into lg it comes 0 0.354 millimeter and flux density air gap at 60 degree form interpolar bg 61.36 b average that comes 0 0.6 tesla and now mf for air gap comes 80 g into 8 to power 800,000 into BG and ILGS putting value it comes 170 ampere. Now coming to MF calculation for stator teeth. The width of the stator teeth 6 millimeter, WTS 6 millimeter and of the teeth is ADS equal to ADS SS upon WTS and LI. So it comes 4.05 and power minus 3 meter square. Plug density BTS is 1.12 meter square. So BG 60 is 1.36 into BTS. So it comes like typically 1.52 Tesla and corresponding to this plug density from the material poverty I mean, MF per unit length is ATS 1200 meter per 1200 ampere per meter. So, I have required for stability the a capital ATS equal to small ATS into GCS, it comes 25 ampere. Now, coming to MF calculation for stator core, area of the core is ACI DCS into LI, come 1.9195 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. Plug density in the stator core BCS 1.85 millimeter. So, corresponding to this plug density. I have required ATS, small ATS 280 mp per meter. The length of the path of the stator code LCS equal 5D plus 2 HS DCS by 3P. So, LCS comes 40, putting value it comes 43 into 10 power minus 3 meter. I have required for stator codes capital A into ATCS into LCS that comes 12 mp. For road, now coming for rotor teeth MF calculation, the so WTR is 6.3 mm. The area of the rotor teeth per pole SR upon L into WTR, it comes through putting value 3.9 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. And flux density in rotor teeth at 1 third I, BTR 5 ATR it 1.16 and BTR 60 now is 1.36 into BTS, it comes 1.57 5 meter. And corresponding for material property, this flux density have per unit is 2000 2, ampere per meter. I have required for rotor teeth is ATR equal to small ATR into DSR, it comes 19 ampere. For now coming to calculation for rotor core from the previous calculation area of the core is ACR equal to 
pi 1 into n power minus 3 meter square to flux density in rotor core is BCR equal to 1.185. The MF per meter is 80 CR for material power 280 ampere. And length of the magnetic path in rotor core is LCR equal to pi D minus 2 SSR 2 DSR by 3P 18 millimeter and MF required for this total 80 CR equal to 0 into LCR that is putting value 5 meter 5 mm, ampere. Now to coming to for calculation of magnetizing current for all five parts of magnetic air gap state reach state for rotor, rotor core. We have calculated area, we have calculated length, we have calculated flux density, we have calculated BG60 and then is MF per unit for different material and then followed by total MF. So, 80 is 60 comes 231 and magnetizing current comes here I am equal to 0.4278 P into 8060 by KW as into S it comes 1 MPL. And these are the references which we have followed for this lecture. If any question is there, I will be happy. Thank you very much.